Hello Sagittarius, I'm here with a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius people. Um, this reading could resonate with anyone who has, Sag who has Sagittarius strongly in their charts. Um, but please understand that not all Sagittarius people are going through the same experiences. We're all different ages. We all have different natal charts. We all live around the world in different places. And um, it's just not possible from my perspective that we could also, we could all be in the same, um, in the same life template. Some of us are sad suns, some are sad rising, some are sad uh, moons, some are sad Venus. Uh, it's, it's all different. So, um, please understand this resonate, this reading might not resonate with you, but hopefully there's something here that can help you in your journey forward. My beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space just as you are in this moment. Um, I'm happy to have you here and I look forward to bringing this story forward. So let's get ahead, go ahead and get started. Now, as I'm getting into your energy, my, forehead um, is feeling some weight and my words are kind of um, changing. So the energy is definitely changing as I'm getting into Sag. And you know what? Now that I think about it, this kind of happens pretty regularly for me getting into your energy Sag. So let's see what's here for you. What's here for the beautiful Sagittarius people, beautiful Sag people of the world. What is here for you? Beautiful Sagittarius people. What is here for Sagittarius? What is the current energy for Sagittarius, please? What is the current energy for Sagittarius? All right, and let's look at what's incoming. What will Sagittarius be stepping into in the future, in the next immediate future, the next seven to ten days, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks? What will Sagittarius be stepping into? What energy will Sagittarius be stepping into? What is the general energy forecast for this Sagittarius group? What is the general energy forecast for this Sagittarius group? The general energy forecast for this Sagittarius group. The cards are coming out quite cleanly and easily. They're not all different directions when they're coming out. They're just falling out neatly here for me, so... It's a beautiful energy. Okay. Guidance for Sag, please. Guidance for Sagittarius. Guidance for Sagittarius, please. Guidance for Sagittarius. Guidance for Sagittarius, please. Guidance for Sag. Guidance for Sagittarius. <clears throat> I think, I think we might be good on guidance. Let me see. Let me just do this bottom part. Guidance for Sag. Guidance for Sag. All right. Okay, let's see what's here. Um, first of all, when I get into the Eight of Swords, so I'm, I'm in, like I'm in your energy. Um, I meditated before, and I'm already sort of in it. When I was in your energy before, you're starting off this time period with... Um, there is some sort of, my my throat chakra is definitely impacted. So there is some sort of cycling that you were in um, where you could have really felt like you had no control. Um, you could have felt like you had no voice. Um, something was keeping you in a, in a place of, um, helplessness in a way, whether it was self-perceived or it was actual, if there was an actual event that was keeping you oppressed or trapped in a situation or whether it was your own way of thinking, your own cycling thoughts, whatever it was, it was keeping you, it doesn't really matter what it was. I mean, it might matter what it is in the long run because it's something that you'll probably have to um, come to a deeper understanding about in the future. But um, what I see here is you're really becoming um, quite strong and victorious over whatever this was. So you have found yourself some freedom. And when we have the Eight of Swords, this is mental clarity. This is the cycling of thoughts. So there's freedom now and space um, within your mindset. There is an optimistic type of um, of 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 mentality that you have. This is about mindset in the mind, the health of the mind, the clarity that's within the mind, 
Um, and we know that the mind is connected to all the organs in the body, right? We know that, um, especially energetically, when I work with energy, the mind is definitely connected to the organs and to different energy centers of the body. So when we have clarity of mind, when we have a healthy mindset and freedom to have the thoughts that we, that bring us the most empowerment, um, we can be quite healed and empowered and, and, and live with an empowered sense of vitality um, with the sun. So you're coming into a really powerful place. Um, this group of Sagittarius people are feeling um, the rays of the sun after a period of time where they were caught up in some sort of really deep mental confusion and agony. Um, so there is new empowerment. There's a new victory here. And there's some sort with the Knight of Pentacles of movement forward in a very tangible, stable and significant way into the future. So um, there could be someone coming in here to meet you. You could have somebody um, that you're merging with or that you're connecting with that is offering you something with the Knight of Pentacles, but there is a victory here. Definitely a victory here with the Knight of Pentacles. There's something new that you're in that is bringing you um, this sense of deep optimism and um, overpowering anticipation of the future of Sagittarius. It's, we have the Four of Swords here with the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands. I think there is a new opportunity. Oh, shoot. Where did it go? Saggies, your guys' energy in these cards with me, they just fly all over the place. Where is it? Okay, I have to find this energy. Oh, there it is, way over there. Okay, hold on. Give give me a second. And I can't touch the tripod because it's kind of hovering over the area that I'm working in. So give me a second here. I did feel that. Did you see my energy change or did you hear my energy change with that card? Well, it's a 10 of wands. That's why with a nine of wands. So there is some sort of, hold on a second. My leg of my chair is against the, sorry. I had to get reestablished here. There is some sort of new stable energy coming in here that allows you to come in from some sort of, um, we have the nine of wands and the 10 of wands. So there's a, some healing here with this energy of this, either this person or this situation that you're merging with that's bringing you a lot of stability and really um, a lot of potential for uh, abundance moving into the future with the Knight of Pentacles. Whatever this is, if this is a person or a job or some sort of success you're having in your work, it allows you to come in from a period of battlement of an embattled past um, where you really had to be in your own defense. You had to protect yourself. You were in the control of someone else here with the Ten of Wands. So I don't want to go too deep into these energies. Um, it, it is talking about that with the Eight of Swords, but whatever this energy is that you're connecting with here with this Knight of Pentacles, whether it's a person, could be, um, and it's a pinnacle energy. So it's something that's practical. It's something that's going to bring you stability and, and financial resources in the future. Whatever it is, if it's a person, if it's a job, if it's a new business, whatever it is, you're feeling really excited and empowered and you're feeling strong and you're, you're feeling passionate and you're ready to take action with the sun energy and the Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. So this group of Sagittarius people are, um, have had a victory over some type of, um, somebody having control over them or a situation having control over them um, and they didn't really know how to escape the problem. There is some sort of a victory and I think it probably has something to do with this Knight of Pentacles energy. Maybe if you have a business, you are really worried about the income and how you were going to make it possible, but maybe there's a client that's coming forward. If you connected with an opportunity that's going to bring you some sort of um, financial improvement. And this is really able, it's allowed you to step out of this eight of swords into a new optimism here. Or maybe if you are <clears throat> really um, not understanding why you're not connecting with, um, with, with a healthy relationship, um, there is perhaps some, some kind of relationship that is, that you're connecting here, that's, that you're connecting with that is very slow moving, very stable. 
um, making significant process and it's it's allowing you to um, really experience a healthy um, revitalized kind of mindset so whatever this is for you it does um, it does have something to do with this increased um, energy of stability here whether it's a person or work that you're doing um, or work that you're doing. I think for many of you, this is something that you guys have been working to achieve for yourselves. Um, but for others of you, this could be a new job or some kind of um, person coming in here that really helps you move into um, a much more powerful, energetic place in your life. All right, let's look at the incoming future and let's see how this continues down the road. How does this continue now? How does this continue? Well, we have the Nine of Cups here. It's beautiful. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Ooh. We have the King of Wands. Knight of Wands, Magician, Fool, Sagittarius. What is this? We have counterparts here. We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. And we have the King of Wands moving in quite quickly, quite passionately here. This King of Wands is moving forward to fulfill some kind of a, a, a wish or a goal that he has, something that will bring him um, health and vitality and really um, is a wish come true. The Queen of Wands is... Okay, the, the energies are, I think I laid the cards down in a way that's hard for me to read. Let me reformat these cards here. Yeah. So we, we step into the next immediate future and you, you're looking at the next seven to 10 days, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks. So this is for the next immediate incoming energy. It's not a, It's not supposed to be a huge epic story, but it can be because I'm doing these weekly. I'm not doing monthly readings or I'm not doing annual readings or anything like that. Sometimes spirit takes the opportunity to bring forward some type of an epic story for, for some of you. So we have to allow um, the tool to be um, given to us from spirit and, and take it as we receive it, how it makes sense to us as viewers. Um, but I do see the Queen of Wands here, which I'm really focused in on first. I really focused in on the Queen of Wands first in this reading. She's really pulling me. I think for many of you, you are the Queen of Wands. Um, you are in a, in a space that you are really trying to focus now on your own inner vitality, that flame within you. Um, you're, you're learning how to really live in your confidence, um, have a deep belief of self-confidence, not a not a, an outward shell of confidence that can be eroded um, based on what someone says, but like a deep, deep sense of confidence within yourself, a deep empowerment, an understanding of who you are, what your superpowers are, right? And how to use those superpowers. Um, their superpowers are only effective when we understand what our weaknesses are. So the Queen of Wands also knows what her weaknesses are, and she has learned how to manage those. She's learned how to manage the elements within her that could jeopardize her superpowers, Right. That there's always a there's always a um, an opposite energy, the chariot energy, the balancing of energies. Um, the Queen of Wands is quite attractive. Her inner light is is lit. And when our inner flames are lit, when we are lit up as human beings, um, that light within us, that light of passion is quite attractive to the people around us. It doesn't matter what our outside is 
to be honest with you, when you see people who are in the queen, in the queen of wands energy, who have their passion lit, they're quite attractive, right? They don't have to fit into mainstream, um, ideas of attractiveness because that inner fire will shine out and it will draw in um, people who are attracted to the light that she holds. Um, so she's quite powerful. She could be um, very sexual. Like she could be very, um, she, she, she just has this charisma about her, right? She's very intuitive. She takes action. If she, if she feels a need, she has no fear of taking action and stepping forward to protect herself or to, market herself or to promote herself or to speak um, about what is on her mind. Like she's very powerful in that way. She's focused on this freedom that she has, freedom of um, captivity, freedom to earn her own living, freedom to live in financial wealth, freedom to have her own individual sense of self, right? Freedom to have her own opinions, right? She's on this quest for freedom, um, freedom from worry, freedom from continual financial strife, Right. And she's very empowered. There's, there's much in her experience, in her past experience that she is not liked. And she's working to bring in what she wants now and what brings her fulfillment. She's working on manifesting that. She's working on bringing it to fruition. All right. I do see a king of wands here. He's coming forward very passionately. Right. Whether this is, I, I think for many of you, this could be a person. It could be a community. It could be a job. The king of wands energy is an energy that can lay over the top of a person. It can lay over top of a work of a job. It can lay over top of a community. It is a, it is an energy of, of, um, taking action in the external world. While the queen of wands is focused on her own internal self empowerment and focusing on bringing in, um, success through using her superpowers and managing her weaknesses. This is internal health, internal fire. The king of wands goes out into the external world and he solves things. He fixes things. He starts things. He initiates things. He has no fear of stepping into new frontiers, right? His fire is in taking action and resolving conflict. He is confident. He is charismatic. He could be a performer. He's a presenter. In whatever industry that she he's in, he is not afraid of being seen. He is not afraid of being heard. He also likes to be seen and likes to be heard. He gains um, energy from that. He works off of the heart center and the abdomen, the energy, the fire that pulls you forward. So uh, many kings of wands have become successful. They have created empires out of nothing. They are not afraid to step into new frontiers. They are not afraid to open new doors. Now, if they're not balanced, they could be going around opening all kinds of new doors and doing all kinds of things. If they're not balanced and they can be very scattered, they can get bored of what they're doing. Once they find completion or they find all the, the learning that they need to have, they find the fulfillment in a, uh, in a, um, in an environment. Sometimes they need to then move on to the next environment so they can continue to learn and expand because they are a fiery energy. Now you are fire Sagittarius. So you're either the queen of wands or the king of wands, but I feel like there's two people here. Many of you are the queen of wands, but some of you could be in the king of wands. It doesn't matter what gender you are. This is the energy that you carry. All right. The king of wands is seeing here a wish coming true. And I think this king of wands is looking at what you're doing or looking at you, right? The king of wands is here coming forward very passionately towards whatever this manifestation is. Right. So whatever is being manifested here, if it's a new business, if it's a new job, if it is a new relationship, whatever it is, whatever it is, this king of wands is coming directly in passionately and in its natural way, the way the king of wands does it without fear, with passion, with enthusiasm, with with the with the drive to take action and to do things that a person might not just normally do. Yes, we can do that. Let's go. Let's do that. Let's create this organization. Let's solve this problem. Let's build this company. Let's start this relationship. He's not scared to do that, nor is the queen of wands. These are partners where the king of wands is very much interested in building and creating and constructing and, and, um, <sighs> the king of wands energy, 
building and creating and constructing and re rescuing that kind of an energy. The queen of wands energy is very much in the inner energy of self-empowerment and beauty. And this king of wands is very much attracted to that. So the queen of wands is very much um, engaged in this idea of self-reliance, freedom, individual choice, harvesting her hard work, bringing in um, sufficient income for her to be able to enjoy luxuries and um, pursue um, adventure and, and travel and, and bring um, excitement into our life. Whatever she's doing here, she's working on manifesting. And whatever she's working on manifesting, this King of Wands is interested in being a part of that. Then there's a new journey. There's a new journey. So whatever this is that's happening, there's some sort of emerging taking place. And this King of Wands is not holding back. And it's something I think that the Queen of Wands is working to manifest. So I don't know if the Queen of Wands has been working to manifest a lover or a job or a new business or a new adventure, but the King of Wands is here and is riding passionately towards this. So the Queen of Wands could be calling in a King of Wands, or there could be actually something here that the King, that the Queen of Wands has started. Maybe she's invented a new product, or maybe she's written a book, or maybe she has a new screenplay. Because remember, the King of Wands is a presenter. He's a performer. He presents to the community. He, he performs. So there could be something here that the Queen of Wands has created or has brought forward that the King of Wands now is saying, I'll ride with you. I'll go with you. Let's do this. I love this idea. Let's do this. Whatever it is, there's a new journey here. <laughs> this is incredible. This is really incredible. All right, let's look at the guidance. Ooh, I need to go into the, the fool energy. Give me a second. I'll go in deeper into these energies in the extended reading. Um, what the King of Wands has to say, what the Queen of Wands has to say, I'll go deeper. Um, but for right now, I, I do feel there's more energy here in the fool energy. Do more about the fool energy, please. Ace of Pentacles, damn, new reality. What the hell? Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. What is it, Sagittarius? There is something, a new business, a new relationship, a new job. This is something that's for real. This is something that is for real. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? It's so exciting. I can feel the excitement. My head is cold. I can feel the excitement. <gasps> what is it's New home. What the, I can, I just, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, this is when I come out of my office and my kid is there. He's in, he's 21. He goes to university and he's up, he's home today. And he'll, I'll come out of my room and he'll say, mom, that was a little much. Cause he can hear me exclaiming, but this is a freaking 10 of pentacles over the top of the ace of pentacles, over the top of the fool. I just, what, what, what is this, Saji? I have so much energy coming through my energy field right now. I, I just, I can't, can, it's just so hard to manage this energy. Look where you have been with the four of cups. Look at where you've come from Sagittarius. And now you're in this nine of pentacles energy. So this doesn't have to be a relationship. This can be a business partner. This can be a new business idea. This can be locking in that position. Whatever it is, it's going to bring you the foundation that you have been looking for with your, oh my gosh, nine of pentacles with the fool. In comes the ace of pentacles with the 10 of pentacles. This is like a dream come true. Now we know you're in the fool. All right. So it's going to take when you, as you get, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Me bringing in this, oh, the Aquarius energy. You're in the full energy. So you just, you have a little bit of work to do because you have the Ace of Pentacles here, right? You go from what, zero to one though. So it's not like it's a long journey. It's zero to one. But as you make it to the Ten of Pentacles, you do have a little bit of a journey to get to the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, unless you're winning the lottery, right? Unless you buy a lottery ticket and you win a lottery ticket, there is going to be a journey here for you, but it's going to be a beautiful journey because it's so locked in, right? It's so 
it's it's so there it's it's almost like the path has already been created or something now you just have to find follow the path do what you need to do and you follow the path and it's there there's something here that's like already created in a way oh my gosh Whew, that was a ride man that was I threw my cards on the meter. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I'm still filming. What the heck? Okay, I got overly excited, but I am in your energy. So you're going to feel like this. If this is your story, you're going to feel that excited. Like, sometimes I wish like I could have a camera. Maybe someday I'll put the camera on me and you can see how crazy I get when I do readings. Um, but we'll see. have to see what happens. But... Um, also, I'm doing readings a lot during the day. Like I'll do them for many, many hours. And that's a lot of time to have the camera on you, honestly, on your face and on you. So that's another reason why I don't. It's just because it's a lot of time. Like when you think about it, I'll put two and a half hours into one sign. And if I do three or four signs a day, that's a lot of time to be recorded. And so uh, it's not like, and I do that every week. It's not just once a month. It's every week. So it's a lot of time to be on camera. So I, I probably won't do that. If I ever do that, it might just be for a week or something. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This, en this energy has me flying all around. Look what of all the weird stuff I'm talking to you about. Like, I don't ever talk about this. This energy is exciting. You're going to you're gonna probably need to settle the energy because it's really all over the place here. <laughs> it's so exciting. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you, Sagittarius. Let's see what's here. Six of Swords. Okay. Hanged Man in Reverse. All right. Eight of Cups and the Death Energy. Walk away, my friend. Whatever you've been doing before with those Eight of Swords, time to go. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Walk away. You've seen the light, right? The Hanged Man in Reverse. You've seen the perspective that you need to see. You're on your feet again. You no longer have to see it in a different way. You've seen the light, right? Now you're back. It's time to move. You don't need to wait anymore. You don't need to look at different perspectives anymore. You don't need to go deep into this anymore. You have this, you have this understanding now with the Six of Swords, right? You have this understanding. You have the ideas, you have the thoughts, you have the mental clarity, and you're wanting to take those with you, the tools, the mental stability, the ideas, the clarity, the reasoning, the justification, um, and you're moving forward in a much more peaceful way. You're leaving behind what creates confusion and what traps you and keeps you in a weak place. You've seen what it is with the hangman in reverse. No need to wait, walk forward, walk away, Transformation, death energy, Scorpio energy, transformation, End, ending something and birthing something new. Death energy is, when we talk about the death energy, this is a big energy. So um, this could be the beginning of something for you, but there is going to be some sort of transformation that's going to take place. Walking away energy is a hard energy. So um, while we're all excited right now and, and I'm going around up in the air, flying around in this energy, um, it will start to settle and there will be some difficult emotions. There will be some tugging of the heart. With death energy comes the need here to um, really separate from something that you have been involved with. The Eight of Cups is separating with something that you've been involved with. The death energy is saying goodbye to something that you once were quite entwined with and that can be hard on the heart and that could really require um, some yeah I can feel that there's a heaviness on the chest so th there is going to be some healing and some moving away energy um, that comes forward in the future but there is a beautiful new beginning for you um, whether this comes in with some heaviness here and some need to really um, separate yourself from something in, in a major way and the, and the emotions that come with that um, and that can be really hard to do that um, I think that you're, you're understanding that and you're most willing to move forward because you have the six of swords. Like once you have the six of swords, once you have those swords and they are supporting you and helping you move forward, they're not going to let you back up. These swords are there forever now, right? That's what enlightenment is. Enlightenment never allows you to go backwards, right? When you're enlightened, 
It's like, that's there. You can't go back. So when you have the Six of Swords here, those swords are there. They're going to follow you in your life. And once you have that clarity and once you have the understanding, there's no way that you can unlearn that unless you go and get hypnotized and go deep in the subconscious and do all kinds of work. And why would you want to, right? Because this is beautiful. So you are moving forward in, in this journey and it's exciting and it's beautiful. And there is a little bit of work to come here with this walking away and the death energy. Uh, but look, you can, there's guidance here to move forward. There's guidance here to leave behind what no longer um, is benefiting you, what keeps you trapped and to move forward now and to leave what, again, it's a leaving energy. It's a, it's a, it's a transformation energy. Beautiful Sagittarius. Okay. I'm going to move to the extended and oh my gosh, I do not know what I'm going to go into here. So let's see what, first of all, I'm going to go into the nine of pentacles. That's for sure. So we're going to go into the nine of pentacles. I want to see what the King of Wands has to say. Well, I'll determine in the extended what I'm going to do with the King of Wands. And we also have the Queen of Wands. And I'll determine what I'm going to do with her, too. Definitely have a, a couple here, two people. Don't have to be man and woman, right? They can be business partners or something. But we definitely have um, we have yin and yang energies. We have yang energy and yin energy. And when they're together, they complement each other and they create success. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups energy. That I'm going to go into. I have to go into this fool energy with this new. Um, there's so many. I think it's these energies that I'm going to go into. Otherwise, the extended will go on forever. Because I go kind of deep into these energies. It takes me a little while. Um, let me make sure that I don't. Yeah, I think those are the energies that I'm going to go into. Oh, oh, the sun. Oh, what's the Knight of Pentacles or the sun? I think, ooh, I don't know. Let me see what my hands tell me. Let me put these cards down. Okay, give me a second. Put these cards down. I'm going to flip them around like this so I don't know which one is which. So my brain isn't like that and it can't follow that kind of movement because I'm a weirdo. So now let me see which is stronger to my hands. This one, Nine of Pentacles. All right, so I'm going to go into the Nine of Pentacles energy too. All right, so I'm going to go into these energies and I'm going to dig into the King of Wands to get, see if we can find out more information about the King of Wands. And we will um, maybe even see what the King of Wands likes about the Queen of Wands and what the Queen of Wands likes about the King of Wands, something like that. All right, so that's going to be the extended. Um, if you're happy with this reading, if you're satisfied with this reading, and this is a comprehensive reading, um, that makes me happy. If you would like more information, please go to the link below. There is an extended reading on a different platform, and um, all, that's where the extended reading will be. All right, my friends, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure. Wish you all the best. Thank you.